Well, take a look at this scene from Sky Eye. Along the Mystic River, thousands of dead fish. It may look alarming, but experts tell us that it's completely natural. Our Tiffany Chan has more on what's causing the fish kill. The view is both jarring and a bit concerning. It was a little alarming when I first saw it. I thought it was crazy. I, I, I had to look it up. Thousands of dead fish piled up on the shores along the Mystic River in Everett and Somerville. You just can't escape the stench. The first time I smelled it, I thought it was a really bad low tide. And then, uh, you know, we usually come and picnic over here. Uh, and, you know, I went to get a little bit closer and I, I saw all of them. It was kind of insane. The Atlantic Menhaden fish or pogies were likely driven to the Mystic by a predator. Patrick Heron heads the Watershed Association here and says, while it looks scary, this die off is natural and has nothing to do with the water quality. As a schooling fish, uh, they can use up all of the oxygen and uh, die. And that's ultimately what happened. Neighbors and dog walkers are fed up with the scent of rotting fish permeating the shoreline, but it is appreciated by some. Look how happy the people are. While this definitely looks and smells pretty disgusting, Heron says hiring someone to remove all these fish would be too expensive. So there's really only one solution. Ultimately, what is the best thing for us to do is to hold our nose, if you will, wait a little bit, and ultimately the tides will carry it out. It may take, um, you know, up to a week for that to happen, but ultimately it will all, you know, go out to the ocean. From Everett, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.